Thank you, David. Hi. So, actually, uh, what we're usually doing is improvisational theater. Yeah? So, improv, maybe you have heard of this. So, um, actually, we're just making stuff up at the moment. Yeah? So, uh, this time is something special for us. We are three improv groups, actually united in four people. So, we are Musenkus from La Nach Ladenschluss from Mainz here. The show he, uh, David has seen. And then we have um, two uh, people of groups from, Wür from Würzburg, actually, you are from Würzburg, yeah? So it's Groß und Klein und it's uh, 10 vor 8, I said it correctly. Great. So, and we have this script, which was written by Nadia Pernat. I think she's not here this evening, yeah? But, um, so this is kind of special for us that we have a script, and we are not going to, to exactly play what is inside the script, but we have taken the characters from that. Um, I've heard that, it, uh, that the script came together from uh, brainstorming with scientists and publishers and Nobel Prize winners and, uh, and everybody. Um, and we're taking the characters from those scripts and the setting and then we're going to make something up out of that. Yeah? And, if you, and if you have a kind of inspiration or you have a question that is, that is extremely important for you in this, then you can just shout it out loud yeah? and then we're going to try to, to manage to put it into the play. Yeah, so uh, feel free to do that. So we need to we need to train this a bit. So I want you to cry just your just your pre name. Yeah, I, I will count to three and then you are going to cry out as loud to me so I can hear it. Yeah, even those guys in the last line. Yeah, okay. So one, two, three. Okay, great. Yeah, there are more people there, so you have to cry louder. Yeah, so th th I can hear you. Okay. Great, so uh, this is a play um, um, which is about open access. So uh, you have uh, had something to do with open access in this conference this, this weekend, yeah? More or less, uh, this, week, this week, it's not a weekend. Yeah? Okay, so, um, so I'm, I'm going to ask you some questions about this, but first we, we, need to, we need to train this as well. So I want you to raise my hat. Yeah? I've brought you my hat, yeah? this one. Yeah? I want you to, to rate it from one to five points. Yeah? So how, how do you actually like my hat? Do you like it for one point? And I want you to applaud now. One point is very bad. Oh. Okay, so do you like it for one point? Uh, okay, thank you for your honesty. Thank you for your honesty. Okay, so do you like it for two points? Then applaud. Okay. Yeah, do you like it for three points? That's kind of good. Okay. Who, who does like it for four points? So, I, I like you. I like you. Okay. Okay, if you, if you have a question in this show, then, then just ask it. Okay. So, and who does like my head for five points except me? Okay, great. Okay, thank you. So, so I, want you, I want to ask you, how do you like the traditional way of publishing, like in a prestigious journal? Do you like the traditional way of publishing for one point? Do you like it? Yeah, okay. Ah, I, I, I can see you. This is the guy with the hair. <laughs> So do you like, who does like it for two points? No, there's more people. For three points? Four? Or, f or five? Okay, just one point. Great. Yeah. So it's uh, up to, it's between two and three points. Yeah, I'm here. And how do you like open access publishing? Do you like it for one point? Nobody. <laughs> you're, you're the courageous guy here. Do you like it for two points? For three points? For five, four, <laughs> or for five? Okay, so so our audience is more or less already open access ish. <laughs> okay, so we are having this play by Nadia Pernat now. I think it does not really have a name. It's called Film Theater Script for Open Access by Nadia Pernat. A little applause for Nadia. In the last few weeks. Heads were spinning, fingers were flying, and coffee flowed in streams. So this is Nina. She's a PhD in natural sciences, as you can see. <laughs> and this is Gideon, a candidate doctor for humanities, as you can see. <laughs> but they have some little differences, although they know each other for quite a long time.
That looks good. Seems like you're almost finished. Yeah. And? Looks pretty good to me. Yeah, I know. I mean, do you know where you want to publish when you finish your article? It's funny that you ask, because over the last couple of weeks, I thought pretty much about it. And for me personally, there is only one decision I can take. And that is, I will publish in a prestigious journal. Don't look at me like that. Yes, yes I do. That's, that's typical you, Gideon. Do you know typical that? Me. Yeah. You in a prestigious journal because my research is so good and... I put effort into it. Don't you think I put effort into that too? And still... And what is your choice then? What? Don't you know how nowadays works? People publish with open access. Open access? Yeah, never heard of it. Sure I did. And why? You're giving your stuff away for free. I'm doing good for humanity. I'm, I could help people with my research and I don't want to, people going broke over trying to access it. Nina. Gideon. We know each other for a long time. <laughs> In fact, we spend the most of our childhood together. Yeah, that was where the days. <laughs> Remember, we together in the sandbox? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I bet your mom still has photos from that. Actually, yesterday I was at my mom's house. She has a full album full of photos of it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I cannot concentrate on my publication work, which is very important with all this hullabaloo going on. Dr. Oh, Squirrel. Well, yeah. What's up here? What's going on? What? Tell me! I need to publish, so please tell me that I can have my quietness, please! Yeah. I'm so sorry, Dr. Squirrel. Oh. Yeah, I hope so. I don't want to interrupt your important work yeah, in the very... traditional way of publishing, I might uh, uh, yeah. yeah. If you want to learn about the traditional way of publishing, in a prestigious job. Actually, funny that you ask because we have to publish yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, you have come to the right person. Yeah, because so he doesn't ask all know. Your questions. She doesn't know anything. You, you know don't. what? I'm going to tell you if you are not going to publish, consistently publish in a prestigious journal all the time with high impact factors. That's the most important. Well, well. then you can as well go for a tax a lot. We don't want to interrupt your prestigious yeah, uh, time. Yeah, yeah, uh, I hope so. But what exactly is the impact factor? <sighs> oh man, you don't know what the impact factor is. That's the most important in the publication process because it's a system of ranking to show how well your publication is <coughs> ranked. See, I told you so. Yeah, yeah because you suck. To professor, to Dr. Squirrel. Ah. Never mind. A man with a career of mine has time for you, always. Dr. Squirrel, we are so proud that we can even be in the same room as you are. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, Dr. Squirrel, not again. Don't listen to his horror stories. Sir? Dr. Oh. Well. Science is much more than a race for publication and reputation. Is it? It's not all about prestige, Dr. Squirrel. I told you uh, every uh, day. About what else is... Uh. <laughs> Look, we are about to go a new way. A very <coughs> good way. The first way 
of which everyone all over the world can benefit. Think about the internet, how the internet changed the world. And everyone all over the world, even the less developed countries, they can benefit from science, from our knowledge. Yeah, that's what I say, publish with open access. But Dr. O, open access. isn't it also true that your very first publication was by going the traditional route? <laughs> yes, but Dr. Squirrel, you are too young to know that, but it's 25 years ago, so I think, I think it's, it's, not, um, it's not a good argument. Times are changing, and we have to change too. We have to. We have to. Oh. That's typical for him. Open access. Yes. That's a very good way. That's a very good start. So you, you want to publish in natural science? Yes, right? sure. So go to the library okay. and ask for the Journal for Natural Sciences. Okay? Yeah. And I think you should think about your way. You really should. Thank you, Dr. Al. It's greatly appreciated. So have a good time. Yeah. Thanks. And the very best. Thanks. Both of you. Thanks, Dr. Al. See? Times are changing. You know what? I hate this idealist. Remember the sandbox story I was about to tell you? Yeah. You made a name out of yourself as a child. People wanted to see your sand castles you've built. Yeah. You were famous in the whole neighborhood. Yeah, but it wasn't just my work. I mean, you helped all the way. So, we're switching to the library. There is dust everywhere and very little electricity, which is going like... I love this place. I really do. Look at all of this knowledge. Yeah, but the library looks a little bit bare. You see the empty shelves over there? It can't be good. My goodness, you're right. Where have all the books been? Shh. Excuse me. Excuse me. Listen. <coughs> we had to cancel that. We had to cancel that. Why? 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 Because we had to cancel almost everything. Why is that? <laughs> Your questions. Your silly questions. We have no money left. No money, no money for all the good journals. That's the reason why the shelves are so bare. What about my traditional way of publishing? I need space. I want my book, my Wait. work. One of those shelves. Yeah, we've got a lot of space now. You should go another way. I tell you, I tell you, don't, don't go this way. You, it's a very stony way and you have, you have to do anything else, anything. But, but not, not, not in a library. Please, don't do the same failure I have done. Haven't you don't do it. No, don't do it. Sorry. Have you thought about open access? I mean, that wouldn't cost Open access? That would only cost my job. Open access. Ha! Ha! That's like hell. It's, it's like hell. It's our research library. There have to be stuff in there. Yeah. Don't tell me. It's not my fault. What will happen when you're gone? I will be cancelled. The library will be cancelled. No one needs libraries anymore. Sorry, Elizabeth. You can go to the internet. Your, your antidepressants. I brought you your antidepressants. 
Not here, not now. Sorry, but you really should take your medication now. Sorry. <clears throat> so, uh, do you have any questions left? It's your idea. To go here. What? Ask. Ask everything. I know every book, every, every single book here. So, ask. Yeah, I'm, I, was, ask. I was looking for the Journal of Natural Sciences. Yes, but uh, they, they, they are not there anymore. You know, well, I told you before. Shall I tell you again and again and again? We need to find a publisher. We are about to publish. Don't <sighs> you understand? Publish, publish. Do you know one? <sighs> yes, of course I know publishers. You shouldn't go this way, I told you. Please don't do this. Thank you. But, for all but your help. okay, there, there is one. There is one. Do you know? Do you know Peter? You know the guy in the rundown house down the street? Yes, yes. He's an excellent one. Okay, maybe we should go and see him. Or, or maybe you should do anything else. Yeah. Go and drink a coffee, maybe. Okay. Something like that. Anything. Anything. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. What a crazy person was this? That's Lisbeth. She's a little bit. She worries about her job. I can understand that, but. You know, in contrast to her, I do still have faith in the traditional way of publishing, and I suppose you should go over down the street to this Peter guy and look for yourself. So this is exactly what Nina is going to do. She took the long way down to the rundown house and as she enters with the publishers, she gets an uneasy feeling. Hello? It's completely empty. Hello? Anybody here? Mr. 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 Publisher? Hello. Yes, my child. Oh, are you Peter Publisher? You probably can't say I was. You were. Yeah, I was when I still had my publishing house. You had your publishing house, isn't that yours anymore? I mean, don't you see it? Well... Look at this! Yeah, it's, it's a little bit run down, isn't it? But maybe, maybe I could do some research on those, on those spider webs over there. Don't even try. <laughs> you know... I'm a broken man. Know that? Well, I know now. It's a little bit. I came to you because I want to publish. Because I'm a scientist. I'm an author. And well, kid, I tell you, you came to the wrong address. You come several years too late. I run down. Well, you can't rush science. I couldn't come some years earlier. You know, kid. Everything takes money, you do in life. And I don't have any. I'm just a small mouse in a big wheel. You know, 
the cats, the big cats, the great publishing houses are those who are making all the money right now. But, and can you help me publish open access? Because I heard that the... <laughs> open access? Oh, Peter. Oh, hello there. You know, when I'm talking about a big alive. cat... I see. Yeah. Almost. Not really. Now you have your fun with me, don't you? Hmm. A little bit. Well. Speaking with the spiders again. Oh, Peter, Peter, Peter. Yes, I acknowledge your time has come. And time doesn't have any more use for me. So, <coughs> see. Your new client. Take her. Bye bye. <laughs> Hi. Hello. I'm... Hi, I'm Pat. I'm Nina. And you want to publish? Yes, I do. And you want Could to you... publish with us? We are Book Baby. The best option for you, the only good option for you. That's, that's great because, see, this is what my research is about. Yes. And I, I want to publish it. Yes. And I want to help people with it. And I thought about open access, maybe. Oh, open access is no problem for us. No? No. Oh, that's, that's, no. that's actually really, really, really good. Because I, I like open access and I want, to, I want to publish it there. And because, I mean, open access uh, would cost you anything, wouldn't it? Oh, it's only an additional fee. You have to pay it. And then um, you have all possibilities. And because because we have we, we know all the people you need. Hmm. An additional fee. Yes, only a little little small additional fee. Well, uh, well, I imagine open access differently. But <laughs> only death is for free, isn't it? And it costs your life. <laughs> yes. But listen. We know all the people you need in every journal you want to publish in. And open access, of. okay, of course, open access. But it's, a, it's your career, isn't it? Yes, and, and, and you said something about different journals where you can get it right to the people, do the same you research can. as I do? Of course, of course you can. What? And not only simple people who haven't to say anything interesting, but you can go there and you have the world lying hmm. down to your feet. Maybe I you promise you, if you publish with us, this, nothing of all these questions won't be a problem anymore. Well, maybe I should rethink my stance on traditional publishing. Of course. Of course. It's your own decision. At the same time, at the ministry. Nina, sorry I couldn't get through you. You know, I was thinking, maybe after all you're not wrong about the sole open access thing. I'm just checking something out and then I will come back. Let's have a meeting soon, okay? Thanks. So now that Gideon has learned that the price explosion is affecting his sector negatively, he has entered a state of unsureness. So he has decided to get a talk with some politicians, just to get his questions about this done. Oh, oh, oh. Well, young man, well, as always, we're 
short of time. Oh, so well, sit down, sit down. Thank you. Down, grab your chair. This is my assistant. My name is Horst. So, oh. Nice to meet you, too. Yes, yeah, nice so to please, meet you. please sit down. A research institution doesn't run its own. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, what do you want to talk to, to us about? You know, I'm so grateful that you have time for me from yeah, your busy schedule. But there is a problem. Actually, it's two minutes. Okay. <laughs> I tried to be as quick as possible, okay. but I think there is a major problem going on. I like that guy. <laughs> Thank you. You know, I think concerning research, there is a major problem with traditional... Oh, uh, yeah, we, we do think that too, yeah. We have recently promoted science and research oh, yeah, very yeah, yeah, well. That, that's true. That's well. Who is this again? That's my assistant. He doesn't have a name. <laughs> <laughs> I'm forced. That's all that matters. I'm forced. Okay. So it's okay when I talk to you? Yeah, it's okay if you talk to me. You want to have some bretzels? No, nah, no, nah, I'm fine. Fine. Thank you. You know, it's much more urgent than you may think. Yeah. You know, yeah, well, I'm that's what all we're doing. It's basically, all we're doing is thinking the whole day. <laughs> okay. Then please stay with me on this one. Yeah, I completely agree to your position. <laughs> okay. I'm absolutely with you. So is that all you want to no, do? No, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. So you have one minute. Listen, listen. I'm concerned about science. Yeah, we are concerned about science too. As well. yeah. and, I'm, and I'm concerned... That, 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 that the public hand is giving way too much yeah, well. and even has to pay after all the research is done. And the libraries are starving content-wise yeah, yeah, and nobody yeah. is doing anything about it. Yeah, we do have the same thoughts as you, young man. Yeah. One should not destroy so rashly this well-thought-out system. We have to work really, really careful. But listen... Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true as well. <laughs> there may be an alternative. God, I'm sounding like Nina. Anyway. Who is Nina? <laughs> anyway. Does she like pretzels? <laughs> she may have the answer. What? She what? may have the answer. It's open access. Think about this. What is that? We don't last months about this. Oh, we told last night, we completely agree to your position, See? yeah? <laughs> but we should not rush into this. Yeah, yeah, we should not, but that's true as well. <laughs> Listen, it's of importance to society, the opportunities people would have, the oh. teaching staff, the interested students, all of them, the whole society could benefit from this project. They, 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 they do, do have the right to vote, don't they? <laughs> yes, they do. Oh, yeah, we completely support your point of view. <laughs> Damn it, are you even listening to me? Yeah, of course. Okay, so we're out of time now. It's time for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. It was very interesting. It's always nice to talk to young people. Do we need to say anything more? Okay. So, so, thank you very much. It was a pleasure meeting you, young man. Oh, isn't it? Uh, can always come again. Now bring Nina. Bring Nina. We're going to have some pretzels. <laughs> Nina? It's me again. Get in. It didn't work good at all. Let me come over. I need to talk to you. Yeah, come over. Come to the lab. I have pretzels. <laughs> oh, he's late. It's not his usual behavior. <sighs> oh, again. There you are. Hey. Well, 
What happened to you? You look different. Well, the last couple of hours were real interesting. Oh yeah, they were. <laughs> as crazy as it sounds, maybe you were right after all. Maybe the traditional way of publishing is not the future. Well, maybe you weren't so wrong, too. What? Well, don't you remember that Lisbeth sent me to the, to the publisher? Yeah. Well, the original guy is out of business, but there was this other one, and... You didn't sign with him, did you? Not yet, but... I mean... Maybe you weren't so wrong about wanting a career besides wanting to help people. What? I looked at the photos again. And I saw this one particular picture with you in front of it and the whole neighborhood around you and they looked so happy and you know what you gave your skill away at that time even though you were young you gave your skill away for free as if there's a career in building sand castles don't you get my point You have a gift, Nina. And it would be selfish to go the traditional route. But you forget that in science there is a career and I could still help people. I mean, it's not all just black and white. My publisher offers open access. I can still publish. I can still put it in our in the repository. So maybe after all, we're all getting what we want, right? Maybe. So one year later, Nina has done it. She has actually managed to publish. Her scientific article has been published in a prestigious journal. Now she has only to wait for six months and then the embargo time is over and she can do with it whatever she likes. Also, there is an online fee-based article who everybody can download and it already has caused a little stir. And her doctoral supervisor has already upgraded her position. But here is Gideon, our humanities guy, and he has done it as well. His open access based article has just been published and also people in companies have gone, uh, become aware of him. So both are happy with their way of, public, uh, of publications when they meet again one year later. Oh well, oh well, there is the great Nina. Look at yourself. Well, you haven't done so bad for yourself, Gideon, as I heard. And you know what? It's quite funny. It all started here in this lab. Exactly one year ago. And look how, and what a journey we have made. Yes. And in all these months, I just had one question in my mind concerning you. That's only me. <laughs> yeah. And that is, are you really happy with this? I, you know, I still would have liked to not have to pay the fee. Congratulations. But, you know what, I got a call yesterday. And from the Max Planck Institute. 
Look who's here. Oh, well, just remember, if you don't succeed in consistently publishing, consistently publish. Oh, Prestigious Dr. Scrooge. Consistently, consistently publish. Consistently publish. Yes, yes, of course. Aren't they sweet, those two? Oh, yeah. Have you heard of these famous threats? One year oh, later, yes. and they are yeah. still biggering yeah. over the Stone same problems. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm proud. Oh. I had this oh, one year so with young. you. Do you remember? And even yeah. though our when ways will part, I'm glad I had this one last year. You know what? I learned a whole great new deal from you. Thank you. Thank you, because I learned a whole deal from you too. Maybe we should build a sandcastle once again. We should really do. <laughs> Just remember, consistently publish, consistently publish. Oh, Dr. Squirrel, don't you want to have some coffee with me? Oh yeah, and After all the years, Thank you very much. Just remember to consistently publish. Consistently publish. Oh dear, not again. Thank very you. much. Young people, just consistently publish. Consistently. Thank you.